The Bible talks about children in Matthew 18. I just want to share a scripture. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. So, I guess my closing remarks. Let me see if they are my closing remarks. Almost. <laughs> Let's just remember uh, to be good um, to our children and be like children ourselves before God. Remember the good gifts our Father in Heaven has given us so that we also remember to give good gifts to others. Let's have playful hearts, singing and dancing before the Lord like children do. Let's remain loyal and faithful to God who is our greatest caregiver. Like a child is dependent on a caregiver, let's also recognize our dependence on God for life. Let's acknowledge God's provision of peace, mercy, and forgiveness when we sin. And lastly, let's make our way toward him at all costs in partnership with the Holy Spirit, overcoming all obstacles so that we may delight in his embrace. Um, I'm, if it's quite all right, I, I don't know why I go to ask. It's kind of a rhetorical question, but can we pray one more time? Yeah, thanks, guys. God, thank you for these children. Thank you for their benevolence and their grace. Keep them safe and free from unnecessary turmoil. And when they go through struggle, keep them strong and resilient. Help us to be like them, trusting, curious, yearning, dependent, playful and joyous before you. Thank you for this congregation who earnestly desire to see your church filled with people such as these. Thank you for your continued support of our mission here at St. Paul's. Thank you for the ministry leaders who fervently pray to see your church grow, who give of their time to serve the nursery, children, and youth ministries. Thank you for the youth. Lord, you know that I pray for each and every one of them that they might realize their need for you and that they might realize the family that they have here who love them and want to see them grow to be like your son. Help them to see the seriousness of the value and potential they have to make an impact for the kingdom of God. Give them a heart that wants to please you. Thank you for our time together, Lord. I pray that you bless the next few moments as we sing a couple more songs in praise to you and afterwards make our way to the CE Hall to enjoy some soup that the Sunday School and Nursery Volunteers have prepared. Hear our words, God, and delight with our passion. Lastly, bless the food we're about to eat this afternoon. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <laughs>